Yeah. I mean, oh, I've, boy. I remember what happened, but if somebody else <laughs> wants to try to decipher, read the notes and... I think that sounds like someone who doesn't people. know what happened would say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Seems kind of sus. Roll, rolling for it? Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It is a five, and the first person on the roster is Jornok. Mm, I did last time, so somebody else go. <laughs> bro, I no, offered. Wait, you remember you the last time that you recapped? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I, I, I offered, and you all were like, no, but he's going to roll for it. So, uh, <laughs> so Bert offered. Nice. All right, so I guess yeah, we're we taking got notes now of who did the last recap, huh? <laughs> I'll just I'll roll with my official DM dice. Well, in my notes. Jaden liked the, your results, so I'm going to again, Brian does it anyways. It's anarchy. I'm rolling in, and they have to listen to me because I'm the DM, or I might kill them. <laughs> 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 Joke says, I want to know. You'll call to see if we listen to you. Baskar. Baskar. I'm going to do the recap with my mouth full of food, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so last time, what happened was, uh, we had just arrived in front of a skeleton on, in a throne. He was giving us some foreboding warnings, primarily about books, which Gavin had not heeded. Uh, let's see. Nope, that was me. Well, you took the book. And read it. And kept it, and kept that from him. Okay. Let's see, after that, we were told, we were given a, a little bit of a riddle on how to get out of there or whatever, and then uh, Jornok successfully just offered his blood, and uh, we were able to leave the temple. Maybe not in the best order, but... What? Oh yeah, because you, you bathed your hand, you cut your hand, and then you put your hands in the blood. <laughs> yep, that happened. Mm. Not the best order. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> all right, anyways. Uh, Alatar read the book, and Gavin read it over his shoulder. I don't remember that happening, but okay, it is what it is. Oh, it did. Group decides to take the swamp back home. Um, we run into the dragon again. And, uh... He's telling us uh, that uh, we fulfilled the bargain when we really didn't. But um, also, he's calling us his slaves now. Jornox mm, being an MVP here, saying, oh, he's already got a dragon that he serves, and there's nothing they can do about it. So uh, she left him, and uh, we, we book at it. We don't want to be there no more. <laughs> Anywho, that's what I think happened last time. If there's anything not in the notes, I don't remember. Jeez, it. I think that was about it. Yeah, the big thing was we got out and the dragon said, Hey, you successfully did it. You're my slaves now. And we're just oh like, my god, it's been so long. I didn't even that. grab my dice. Hold on. I got new dice. I've got fake dice. Fancy metal dice. You'll actually hear Woo! me rolling. Woo! <laughs> um, Damn. Yeah. And just because it's been concerning. so long, um, we can review the chosen route that you are going to take home. Um, I believe you are going to cross the river here and then make your way towards this town because that purple dot signifies a... Fairy landing. I, hope. I will see say yes because we can't see your mouse. Oh, really? Yep. Probably. Yeah. Are you sharing just the image or are you sharing your whole desktop? I'm sharing my screen. Let me pull up. Uh, it's going to fix it. Watching stream. Like all I, women. I see. I see <laughs> stuff. Okay, it's gone now. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait. Screens. Should it be screens? Yes, thank you. I'm blind. I do briefly remember seeing the map and discussing our plan of action last time, which mm -hmm. was GTFO. Ah, now I see a map. Yes. Yay. All right. If I recall, you are going to cross the river up here. Probably. Then kind of make your way 
Yeah, somewhere. And then make your way towards this purple dot, because that's a fairy landing. I think so, yeah, and then try to work our way back west. Yeah, yep. then we'll Actually, go down river, of course. Because the oh, river here yeah, had a bunch of dead bodies in it, and we didn't want to try crossing that river. But we don't know about the yeah. river to the right if it had dead bodies, so we were taking our chances with that one. <laughs> I think we know that the yeah. river to the right exists. <coughs> I think we would know the general area. At least some of us yeah. would. <clears throat> And we yeah. haven't crossed the vertical river yet, though, no, right? you have not crossed this little uh, yeah. large tributary. Um, something to keep in mind, I don't know if I told you this last time, but uh, each of these squares is 50 miles. Oh, Jesus. That is a super wide river if that's to scale. And it's almost like... Well, the river's... It's representative, I hope. It's, yeah. Otherwise, like that's like an eight-mile-wide river. I mean, it's... Man. It's almost like a certain no wizard said we shouldn't go through bog swamp stomping through the swamp. Okay, just wanted to sit there in Kumbaya on the porch of an evil dead house until time eroded into nothing. That's not and, valid. Yeah, that was it? literally what he wanted to do. Hey, all good things come with time and to those who wait. Oh. Unless you're looking about death, I don't know. Don't wait, get to cross a fucking swamp and get enslaved by a dragon. <laughs> Okay, you can go back and sit on the porch. Also, it's funny because every time Bird talks, his picture animates. So with that tone, yeah, it looks like he was very angry talk. at us. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> that, that's so, because I pay for Discord because I'm a simp. Oh, wait, we're on Twitch. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, yeah, we uh, are on Twitch. Thanks for that. <laughs> you bet. Cat's out of the bag now. So, wait, I can insult myself with that, though, we? right? So, um, I, just, I think it's fine, though. Okay, cool. Just for the purposes of um, ease, you're kind of around here. So, okay. Again, or, or not, you're pinging, I can't see it. So I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I'm not I pinging because this is. I assume it's yeah, right here. Yeah. I can't ping. Yeah. Um, um, because I want to be cool. Um, you're about there. We'll say you're a half a day's journey yet from the uh, bank of that tributary that she wanted to cross. And did we finish where the dragon just fucked off, and what time of day is it? Uh, I, I think we had like an hour or two where we got away. Yeah. Yeah. We, we like, made some distance it... from the when the dragon flew off. Yeah, but let's keep in mind. dragon had like early mm -hmm. there in the evening. Let's keep in mind of the fact that it's a dragon, though. It's a dragon. What time of day was it? I believe it was late afternoon. Okay, thank you. So now it's getting really late. Okay. Yeah. After 50 fucking miles? It's like the next day. Wait, well, you didn't did we try to bunch? It's, you've it's already gone. gone. You, you haven't... haven't... This, you didn't go this entire distance oh. in the session. You... Okay. It took you several days to get to the mansion, but the mansion's not, like, way over here on the ocean. The mansion's... Oh, okay. I thought it was, like, the dead center. Okay. Never mind. My well, it all looks the same when you're lost. What? Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. So, do we still need this, or should I... You can get rid of it since you want to bring all the things on it. Yeah, I don't want you to see all my secrets. Secrets. Alright, so you have but the I choice like here. Yeah. Oh, we need to figure out who's going to run Gavin. Oh, well, I'm too tired. I'm not going to. She's not going to run Gavin. Do we have any volunteers to run Gavin? Otherwise, I can do it. All you have to Probably. do is read a book. Yeah. I, 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 can, I can try and pull double duty on Gavin, but I've never played a warlock, so this will be a learning experience. That's okay. That's okay. You got Gavin. Oh, well, 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 blast. Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Just cast Eldritch Blast or something happens. Pretty much. Um, assuming you have access to his character sheet. Which it should be public, but I don't should be able to see it. I'll, I'll look through it in a little bit here. <clears throat> so you'll have to keep track of his hit points manually, I think. Ooh, yeah. Earlier. I'll put it in the notes like the last time. All right, I hope that's working now. Um, 
We are also traveling slowly, because most of this has been difficult to bring. Yes. Like, what, full deep and mush? Yeah. Yeah, it's not, not easy going. So you have the choice here to push on for a few more hours before you take a break, or to stop now and wait for morning. Probably best to get a few more miles in before bed. I agree. Yeah. Okay. The more distance we put between the dragon and us, the better. All right, I was thinking. Sure, why not? Ignoring the fact that it can fly. And it's a lot harder to cover more ground, at least. Uh, by the way, guys, just a heads up. Uh, we got a severe thunderstorm warning here. Uh, Me too. And apparently it's going crazy out there. Yes. Yes. So you yes. might you, you might randomly disappear. disappear. Might randomly disappear. Just a Same. heads up, a little tidbit. Same for yeah, me. Okay, so if, you guys, ass. if you guys die in the lightning, we'll just we'll just skip this session and you can pick it up next time. Honestly, yeah. If you cut out, we'll just be like, oh well. well. See ya. Um, <laughs> that's a great place to stop. Um, <laughs> so you won't miss anything if you lose power or whatever. Okie doke. All right. Um, is there a particular marching order you'd like to take for this? Front or back for me, whichever the other person does not pick, I guess. I guess that means Jernok's up in the front. All right, I'm on the back. Second, second. I'll be behind um, uh, Peck. And we'll make it uh, Faulkner, then Gavin. Also, yeah. is anybody else noticing birds a little bit roboto? How's that? Better. All right, let's see here. Turn tile dice. These do not match. Why did I do this? All right. Four. <laughs> I don't like it when my dice don't match. <clears throat> oh, man. Obviously, it's been a while since I've run a session. Wait, that's not, that's not right. What's the nearest thing? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do you even know what you're doing? No, I don't. I got to give me a minute here. I can't. <laughs> I can't drink, so I gotta figure this out sober. Oh god. <laughs> How awful. Oh, no. This will work. Maybe. Type. So when's your kid gonna DM? <laughs> well, wow, first that's he needs an to know how to First he needs to know how to count. We're probably gonna do a sample run when he's about six months and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Good so luck you're like, ah, that's he's running this. That does not go in your mouth. Yeah, then he's running the section. <laughs> and our lives. Yeah. Um. Let's see. All right. So as you guys are walking along in your little um, marching order, it's that definitely <laughs> exists. Yep. Yeah. Somehow. Some way. I see it kind of there. The, the, the attempt was made, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we don't have someone move, controlling Gavin right now, so that part's a little difficult. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm kind of moving him to. I'm a brown Gavin. I will give who's running Gavin? That'd cheese. Be, that'd be cheese. Cheese. Controlled by. Let me go into the. Journal, Gavin. Controlled by there. All right, you should have control of Gavin now. We. Yay! We're. Yeah, yeah, I, so <laughs> I can roll twenty. He, uh, he sees so much. There's no fog. Wow. <laughs> he's got dark side. Yeah. Oh, he's got crazy dark. Oh yeah, what yeah. That's his. Uh, he's his seen this much and not helped us. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> now you know his secrets. Oh man, I feel you betrayed. See 
You can see all. <laughs> is no time. Devil Cider. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's gonna be real hard not to metagame game that shit when he comes back. <laughs> Like, Kevin, can't you see it? Um, alright, so, whoever is... So, it's kind of, the fog is pretty heavy here, um, but you, you, you cross a barrier, um, through the fog, where it, it just automatically lessens, and you can see pretty far ahead of you, it's, it's missing out, but the fog is not too thick here, actually, and you feel like you've crossed a line from the danger zone of the dead marshes to somewhat safer. You are trending a little more inland, um, so you feel like that might have to do with it. Um, whoever... <laughs> <laughs> whoever would like can make a perception check. Okay, okay. <clears throat> First roll of the night. Um, 24 with a map. Well, I, I clearly don't see as much as that. I rolled, I got I rolled a 20 with his brand new dice. Wow. Woo Not an at 20, but a 20. Perception 4. I got 12. Me too. <laughs> I guess I'll Rip. roll for kicks and giggles. You gotta be uh, a 24. Yeah, no. <laughs> What'd you, What'd get? you get? Me? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Uh, 11. Nice. That's, That's better to pop after you said no. It's <laughs> over 10. That's what counts. What did, what did, what did, what did Gavin, Gavin get? Uh, I, I actually didn't do perception because I feel like that'd be in character for Gavin. True. Yeah, he's oh. not character. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. I want All the right. book. <laughs> <laughs> he has no. a book. He has a book. I like that book. Yeah, you know, you can learn all of his character secrets. Um, all of you, most of you, um, just kind of walking along, taking in the the um, surrounding terrain of the dead marshes. You don't quite trust it yet, and every so often you can see, like, a bush emerge from the mist as you're walking, and you kind of, like, start a little bit before you realize it's just a bush, not something that's trying to eat you. You're pretty sure. Um, but, but, heck, you notice, after a little while of walking, you can see the grass off to one side is sort of waving strangely, almost as if there's, like, a path being cut through it at the ground level. Like, actively while, like, it's still going, or, like, there was a path cut? There is. It's moving now. It's... Birds are away. Kind of perpendicular, trending back towards you. You get the sense that um, your passage scared something up. Like it's going to the smart intersect us. It's it's going parallel to you, but it's like slowly trending. Like it wants to cross back across your path and get somewhere else. Oh, uh, it's Leroy killing. Uh, Oh, yeah, Leroy. Leroy, people alive. Leroy, Lacroix. <laughs> no, one of the best names ever for a P NPC. So many disadvantages. <laughs> <laughs> he was beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna poke uh, Jaskar in the back. Just sort of like poke him in the back of the spear, and then if he looks back, I'm just gonna point out the spot. Being very quiet, and I'm gonna kind of hold up my hand to the rest of the group. Then watch to see what it does. I guess does that does is Jeskar is oh my god, Jor not gonna stop. I was gonna say Jor not or Jeskar. You you kind of mixed them both. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Who's, who's but he's Jeskar? closest to he's closest to Jor not, so I assume that's who he meant. <laughs> Okay, I was I, I I heard I heard Baskar, so I was just <laughs> off of my, my own. No, I'm in Jornak, Sorry. So Jornak does stop then. What does this thing do when we stop? <laughs> um, it the path scurries across your um line of travel, and it just kind of meanders off into the the undergrowth. Oh, it's kind of nod. And just start walking again. Yep. <clears throat> oh, well, it doesn't seem to be bothering us any, so we'll leave it alone. Just mm -hmm. left untouched. Okay. Um, Alatar. 
What? <laughs> you uh, continue on for another hour or two, and it starts to get darker out. The sky starts to turn that dark um, navy blue, and you can tell that even though you can't like see the clear sky, you can, you can tell that it's starting to become nighttime, and the cold wind picks up. You haven't felt like a strong breeze yet in the dead marshes, so you feel like definitely you you you've encountered or are close to a change of terrain. So it the breeze picks up and it gets a little brisk. It gets a little chilly out. The mist clears away and then gradually, as you keep traveling, um, the sky clears and you can see stars overhead and you can see a uh, crescent moon just starting to rise over the horizon. We should try to find dry patch for tent, I think. I'm just happy to see the sky again. Yeah, it's nice. I normally don't. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's nice. Man, if only my feet weren't twice their normal size. I'm just gonna like wander off and start a little fire on my own. Wait, your feet? Feet I'm are so rough. confused right now. <laughs> I am confused too. I assume he's saying his feet are swollen from wandering through wetlands the entire time. Hey, he's got it. <laughs> okay. Then why don't you say that? No oh, shit. Well, Faulkner didn't say that to the group either because, you know, he's a dumb dumb. Altar is, is above <laughs> the wit of everyone else. <laughs> well, that's not how that works out for you. Well, so far I'm mar marching through a swamp, so... <laughs> Arguably not well. Uh, can we try to find a dry patch somewhere to set up camp? Sure. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, just an investigation check because it's not specialized knowledge. Finds. Oh, someone's gonna want to fucking help me because I'm not gonna do well. Sure, I will help. <laughs> uh, someone else can roll well because I got a nine. Nine. <laughs> All right. That's uh. Yeah, I got eleven. That guy's oh, eight. Eight. So we yeah. all go off our own separate way. I got a seven. <laughs> Minus oh one God. for a six. Oh, we, we can't find a. This a is already going camp. so poorly. Let's try it up to me. <laughs> can't find up to Star. I got a 19. Woo! Oh, oh, no. <laughs> so, Beskar, um, you're not terribly familiar with wetlands. You haven't. Spent a lot of time in wetlands, except for right now. Um, but you see your companions kind of bumbling around, and you're like, this is dumb. And you, just kind of, you walk ahead, and you kind of veer off. You, you head towards a place with a few more uh, trees, and um, what, like higher growth, and you find... Not a large spot, but a spot large enough to hold your camp in the night. Over here, everyone. This looks suitable for the time being. Meanwhile, Jordan has been looking like right in the middle. It's like, what's wrong with this spot? <laughs> <laughs> if I were to come here, I would come. But he, he's avoiding every tree, so he's not making it very far. <laughs> So I'll go out over and start helping to make a fire. Yeah, we'll help set up camp. I don't know if we even have tents. I think we're just having sleeping rolls around a fire. Yeah, Before we set up a fire, do we think that's a good idea with a dragon flying around? It probably already has good enough sight, but do we need to give it that much more ample opportunity to find us once more? I mean... My feet are wet. My legs are wet. My clothes are wet. <laughs> His mood is wet. <laughs> Yes. Well, also imagine Baskar trying to set up a fire like he gets all the piles and he tries to fire bolt. Oh shit, I missed. Oh shit, I missed. Hey. Oh shit, I missed. <laughs> hey. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> yes. So true, it hurts. <laughs> Besides, the dragon said it would probably leave us alone. It'll likely be fine. Plus, if there's any odd creatures other than dragons and us hanging around, they'll hopefully be scared off by fire. Or not. That are attracted bad. to it. Fire yeah. bad. Lost to the flame and all that. 
Would rather see a thing coming to nibble on me than not. Yeah, yeah, compelling argument. Let's go with that one. All right. Well, I help make the fire. Help okay. make fire. Help make fire. Uh, real quick question for the DM. Um, yeah. What were the rules on uh, spells with components? Uh, if it has like a, a money value, you actually have to have the component. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm just checking because I probably will be casting a spell in a little bit here. But no, yeah, no money valuable that. component. But. Well, I mean, that's sort of on the honor system. I'm not here to hold your hand and okay. spy on your inventory. People kind of like that. Yeah. 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 And Actually, I thanks. Mean, Stay thanks for thanks for bringing that up because I had actually forgotten about that as well. I also forgot about. Oh wait, that's right. I use my fists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are a spell cast fist. Yeah. Uh, so spell components. <laughs> We're actually doing spell components. That if it has a only ones that have a cost to them. Anything yeah. that doesn't have a listed cost, you just assume that's in your back. Just because, like you know, when you get to the higher level spells. Uh, like, um, like, Vivify or death. whatever. Yeah, the Resurrection Spells, Heroes Feast, those require, like, actual... Otherwise, you'll just be casting Heroes Feast. Like, like, yeah, I've got, got a cop, cop, and then you, you cast Heroes Feast whenever you fucking want. I'm going to last watch. Okay. <laughs> um, well, that means I can't use... Hungry. That means I can't use Bless or Protection <laughs> from Good and Evil, because I don't think I have any holy water on me. Look, just... Boil the hell well, out of it. It'll be does, good. Does it have a, a gold value assigned to the holy water? Yeah. It, it's got to have a gold value. Otherwise, I assume as a cleric that you make it a point to find that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's holy water components in uh, these uh, D&D Beyond sheets, but if well, we're just we're playing gonna, that way, I, I think not, then that's fine. We're not going to make it that super, super crunchy. crunchy. Uh, okay. if, if it's got a money value... Yeah, Let's holy water flask costs twenty five gold. Yeah, but I mean, does it say in the spell holy water costing twenty five gold, or does it say holy water? No, it says a sprinkling of holy water. Yeah, so as long as it says that, you're fine. If it says a pearl worth a thousand gold, I mean, you have a big ass pearl. Oh, uh, okay. So if it says like a small straight piece of iron, that doesn't yeah. say any value. Assume, so yeah, I just assume you've got that. What are you using as a spell focus? Are you using a component pouch or are you using a holy symbol? Holy uh, symbol, probably. You can flavor it um, if you don't like the component or the focus options that you have with the default. Although I don't care as much about that. I'm just trying to prevent like spamming of powerful spells. Yeah. What do you mean you're still hungry? We just had a hero's feast. You know, man, I'm still hungry. Oh, fine. Here's the second one. Enjoy. Yeah. It's fine. It's a sad break. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, to get holy water, just boil the hell out of it. Be good. <laughs> what could go wrong? That's not water. Sorry. That's, a, that's an old ass vine right there. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho, we make camp. camp, right? Yeah, you make yep. camp. So you circle the wagons, however you'd like to do that. Wagons? It's a saying, Bert. It is a saying. I... And I have an even more dated okay. reference that probably no one will get. <laughs> you don't have to rub it in, because we actually had wagons for a short period of time. That's true. True? Until the horses yeah. died. Well. Mm. Yeah. Things happen, you know? And the, and the guard died. Who yeah, could have that? Who could have seen any of that coming, honestly? Really? No one. No one could have seen... An unfortunate series of events. Yes. Um, yeah. Oh my god. Anywho. Setting up camp. Setting up camp. <laughs> Alright, um, um, I'm going to be looking around to see, like, uh, if... If someone were to try to sneak up on us, where would be the best... Uh, region for them to essentially sneak up on us from. Try to well, determine look, that. So the place that you found is relatively high ground compared to the other areas um, of the marshes around you. Um, so you actually have pretty good visibility. It's mostly open around you. 
Okay, so, so like any direction, someone could essentially sneak up on us from, right? Well, no, because it's open terrain. There's not a lot of obstruction, and you are fairly high up. So, okay, so they, they have to come to us on a path, per se, right? Yes. Across the open okay, ground. How, how wide's that path, to, would we estimate? No, it's it's open ground all around us. Yeah, there's, it's not, there's it's no not a literal, it's not a literal okay. path. It's a, you're on top of a small hill in the in the middle of a mud field, basically. Okay, well, so we'd see them coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unless they're like super stealth. <laughs> yeah, like sneaking through the grass. Yeah. All right. Well, then, uh, relatively close to the camp, uh, from I guess whatever Baskar would perceive be the most likely entry point for someone to sneak up on us. I would uh, cast alarm and set that up in that direction. Um, um, I guess make it a. Sorry. I'm just trying to decide. Uh, yeah, you can just do that. That's fine. Sure. And that's just. Uh, 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 let's see. It's an area within a range that is no longer than a 20 foot cube. So essentially, I'd just be uh, setting up uh, just one line that's twenty feet across. Sure. So that's Wait, set up, and I, I can uh, say if it's a mental or audible alarm. Okay. I'll just make it audible for now, so that way someone else can hear it. Okay. Ling a ling a ling a ling a ling. And it's only going to trigger for anyone we don't know. Uh, if we do know, no. uh, I'm not going to have it ring for then. Okay. Is it triggered okay. for humanoids or all uh, types? Let's see. Uh, you set an alarm for unwanted intrusion. Choose a door, window, or an area within a range that is no larger than a 20 foot cube. So the spell ends. An alarm alerts you whenever a tiny or a larger creature touches or enters the warded area. When you cast the spell, you can designate creatures that won't set off the alarm. You can also choose whether the alarm is mental or audible. So anyone that isn't in our party right now, that would trigger the alarm. And, like a little uh, chipmunk running through. <laughs> like a little chipmunk just running through. Big -a 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 -a. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, it does say tiny or larger, so technically, I guess it could trigger it <laughs> if it's considered yeah. tiny, unless there's something yeah. smaller than that. There's not. Tiny is the smallest. Yeah, super small. Oh, that was better than the first one you did. Because when too. you said something we don't know, <laughs> the could have just, just a lot in. of ants just walking through. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you did it, Alright. Um. Alright, so I do that. I set that up and with those conditions. And for the most part, that's how I'm going to set up most of the alarms. The only thing that I would probably specify differently are, like, the positioning of it. Sure. Why don't you just go ahead and draw your alarm on the map? Okay, okay well, um... Conditioning it being... Well, I'm trying to envision the camp here, so that's hard. <laughs> well, uh, just pile us together in a circle. Then... Okay. Yeah. You're in the lines. What's wrong? Make room by uh, motherfucker. All right, yeah. so let's just say, hey, okay. Um, <laughs> can I draw? Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe I should do a ruler that way. Four squares, basically. Yeah. So. All right. I think that's a little too far. Okay. Yeah, so probably like that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I would say that. Alright. Freehand, what color do you want it to be? Right, blue? Let's do green for orc. Green for orc. Okay. This is the alarm right here. Right? Yeah, you want to oh, that's about it. Maybe a All little right. larger than that, but yeah, approximately that anyways. A general vicinity. There we go. Okay. Good enough. The alarm is there. Cool. And is I there... let them know what I do so they aren't like, what the hell are you doing? Okay. E um, watch. Is, are you sending any? I'm going to be oh, on first there. watch. 
Falconer will take second, and Gavin will attempt to steal Falconer's book during the second, so he'll be up for it as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Are you potentially creating? <laughs> That's the best. So you're setting up some weird shit here. <laughs> you get to roll against yourself. <laughs> yeah, I really do. <laughs> um, Nothing but a stickler for uh, staying true to characters, though. Yeah. Um, Jarnock will take third then. Okay, so does anyone want to go on first we'll after that? So? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. I keep wanting to put two A's in the second half of the battle towards and it's incorrect. I don't know why. Alright, so is there anything any anything else anyone would like to do besides um the alarm spell? Uh the only thing I'm gonna do is during the watch, so that's it. Eat some food. Go to sleep. So forget, was Phil like hanging around with us or did he kinda poof? He poofed. Yeah. I think he was off but because he went too far away, he was circling over the manor, and we went like a huge amount of feet underground. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. When all was said and done, you were probably like six or seven hundred feet underground. Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna poof him back and. Right. Oh wait, I still, I still have one more piece of that meat. I'm gonna eat that meat. Make sure. Can you poof does. him back, or do you have to oh. recast the spell? The only time I have to recast the spell is if he is killed. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I'm gonna eat a ration. All right. So, yeah. Which she got killed by Peck that one time. <laughs> yeah, that was that happened. Thanks, Peck. Where's my ration? Um, There's my ration. Yeah, same. Not eight. Do I have my ration? Not sure. Ration. Do I have rations? I don't know. Am I starving? Oh. I thought everyone prepared and got rations beforehand. Yeah. Well, smart, so that's what a smart person would do, but I don't think I'm smart. Mm-hmm. Says the man with the most intelligence in the party. <laughs> you know what? Boy, <laughs> actually, how that works out. I have no food. You have no <laughs> well, food. I have a bag Duh. of weed. Sure, you can eat that. Hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You're gonna eat weed. That's gonna make your problem worse, Ferg. Eh. Well, I will get the munchies, but you know, we'll see what happens. Have I see? Wait, can I see if he does that? Can I roll perception on that since I'm on watch with him? Sure. Because <laughs> he just eats weed. <laughs> well, before he eats some weed. Speak to you. Okay, um, yeah, that probably sees that. Let's see what you get, and then I'll tell you if you see him eating. 21. <laughs> Put the edibles 21. down. I... Uh, yeah. As, and I as have you... dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> as he's about to uh, lift the uh, herbs to his lips. I, I put my hand in front of the herbs, and I take out a ration and give it to him. <laughs> And you get a whiff of musk and skunk, and you're like, hmm, something seems off about this. It smells my, my, like my youth. Yeah. Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> Best place to party, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna, right. like, take the ration, put the weed down, the ration, <laughs> and then stealthily smoke it later. <laughs> Quietly light up later. You're gonna stealthily <laughs> smoke weed. All right. Welcome back to high school. Yeah. Oh, God. Our neighbors stealthily home. smoking it into our vents. <laughs> yeah, they did it in the basement, right next to the fucking AC unit. Smoking in the boys' room. Hard to be stealthy when you fucking smoke right next to the furnace with upstairs neighbors. I was I was upset by two reasons. Number one, they were doing it right into the AC, and number two, they didn't invite us, the bastards. <laughs> um. All right. So you have consumed a proper ration, um, and you can make perception checks on your watch. Okay. Here's where the bad roll comes in, probably. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's bad. How bad? Six. Six. Cool. 
At least I have an alarm that's probably not going to be helpful. What am I rolling? Perception. Hell yeah. So, Amanda, uh, real quick, I probably have it a that's... little bit more southwest of us, like maybe down here. Uh, can I ping or not? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Like around there, maybe centered. There. Okay. Cool. Give us some time to let us know before they're on your on your butt. Yes. Yeah. Instead of like right on us. <laughs> instead of right next to your sleeping bag. Alarm! Someone's standing over you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, does it say how far away the alarm can or It doesn't specify, so I assume pretty much once it's set up, it's infinite range. What? I think it is until the thing just expires. I, but the, the audible alarm is only uh, 10 seconds and can be... Wait, hold on. Audible alarm produces the sound of a handbell for 10 seconds within 60 feet. So, okay, yeah, there, there, there is a restriction. But we should be able to hear yeah. it. Read your, your spells. spells. <laughs> um, um, cool. So you got that. You have Alatar, would you roll a perception? Whop and nine. Woo! You got higher than Bastar. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> we got the A team first watch. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Better than the B team coming in the next watch. We got a guy with the Better than a guy probably the, the wizard book. having to roll disadvantage on his perception after consuming hemp or whatever <laughs> the shit. <laughs> He didn't. I didn't eat so it's all either. good for now. He needs yeah. to unwind. He's in soggy clothes. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, as you're sitting out there, um, Baskar and Alatar, Alatar, you are wishing fervently that you had a second set of clothes to put off because you are completely soaked and the night wind cuts through your clothing and it is it quickly becomes extremely miserable. Um, you wish that you had thought to bring like a stool or a chair. From the mansion, not that it would be fun to carry through the mud, but it's a lot less fun to sit in the mud on watch. Um, you can feel it just kind of soaking in and like getting around your butt cheeks. And oh no! He, why'd you have to go into the special place? That's just rude. <laughs> oh, just like rolling around in it, getting real comfy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just okay. nestled in the muck. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh can you hear me? Yeah. A power flicker. Okay, great. It's my book. 
There you I go. Love that book. Yay! I you like have the book. a book. Give me the book. You have a book. <laughs> oh yes, this is gonna be the best watch. I love this. <laughs> Give me the book. Fine. I hand him the ancient magical <laughs> artifacts from the Age of Giants. No, this no, isn't no, the no. right book. No, no, no. You got. He's gonna. He's gonna. Roll persuasion against you to get you to give him this book. <laughs> no, no, he gave him the wrong book on purpose. <laughs> I know, but I mean. So he is not. He is correctly role playing Gavin, but yeah. All right, right. This, give him the wrong what, book if you want. Is this what multiple personalities? He throws it back at me, by the way. <laughs> uh, so you you catch it? Yeah. Roll, it back. <laughs> roll an attack against yourself and book. This is all a, right. Improvised weapon. No, so what do I have to roll? Just a d20 no, here. Don't do that. That's so I'm not the DM. I'm sorry, I listen to the DM, okay? <laughs> um. So, so your book uh, lands on your lap, lap. and it's, it's lucky, lucky because, because you're, you're kind of sitting next to kind of a larger puddle. You just kind of look down at it, look back up at him. Oh God, dude! He's looking at you, crazy, almost crazed, like. He's obsessed with the idea of getting... Am I back? Yes. Hi. Yes. Like Nothing he's... happened on your watch, and Faulkner and Gavin are fighting over the book still. On the yeah. Second floor. Okay. yeah. Um, he's look... It's like he's obsessed with getting whatever... whatever. And you know exactly what book he wants. It's like he's obsessed with getting it from you. I know, that's why I gave him the wrong book on purpose. <laughs> yes. yes! I'm describing his expression! I'm trying to be a DM. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah okay, Gavin. What the book? I want the book. You <laughs> the images of Gollum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the precious. You'll get the book when I'm done with the book. No. No. Give us the book now. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good. Perfect. We want it. We want it, precious. Oh my, Gavin, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Someone tell Ducky that he's gone to the dark side. He'd be like, perfect. <laughs> he's working on his accent. Yeah, he does. <laughs> his uh, impression, that word. Gavin changed in the dead marshes. He changed. He finally hit puberty. Oh no. <laughs> 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 I'm um, with an angsty teenager now. Uh. An angsty golem teenager. Uh, it really wants the goddamn book. Yep. All yeah, right. Dude. So, if you are not going to give him the book, are you going to read the book? Uh, not this time because I feel like he's going to read it over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So then, uh, you turn your attention to the watch itself. Go ahead and roll perception checks. Yeah. All right, new dice. Let's go. Woo! Oh no, poor <laughs> Gavin. He's so focused on the book. He rolled a nat one. <laughs> oh god. Well, Faulkner got a twenty, not natural twenty, but a twenty. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> All right, um, Gavin is indeed. It's kind of creepy. It's like, so you know when, like, a dog or a cat really wants something and they just look at you from, like, around a chair and they don't blink or move? <laughs> they just stare at you? Feels like you're explaining a situation unfolding in front of you immediately. <laughs> no. We got rid of the staring already. I gave her what she wanted. Um, <laughs> that's kind of what Gavin is like. He just sits there across the way from you, just staring at you. Like, he can just will you and creep you out enough that you'll give him the book that he wants. So you kind of just angle away from him a little bit, and you stare out into the marshes. And you take a minute to just kind of take in the night and the fact that you can see this guy and you're safe-ish so far. Um, And you look around and you make a nature check. Oh no, that requires intelligence. <laughs> ah, natural one. I should have used my ra- real dice. Oh, and not the... I have a negative one on that check, boys and oh. girls. 
Uh, <laughs> you got a zero? Uh, <laughs> totally a negative one. I have a minus two modifier and I rolled a nat one. I have a oh, minus no. one. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. You're just so terrified of the trees. I really am terrified of the trees. <laughs> oh. You uh look around and you think to yourself, wow, these are some very nice plants. <laughs> And you're so glad they don't appear to be moving, or you know what plants are <laughs> trying to eat you. Um, oh, no, one plant tried to eat me, so maybe my definition of a plant isn't, you know, correct anymore. <laughs> I'm still just, rethinking just, what a plant is. I'm picturing the name of like the poorly dubbed thing with the guy with the butterfly, and that Faulkner is going, "Is this a plant? It's a butterfly? <laughs> this plant? Yep, there we go. That, that's Faulkner right now." <laughs> <laughs> um. But your watch just it passes very peacefully, and you're actually kind of relaxed by the time it comes to an end, except for the part that you're just tired and want to sleep. Um, the fact that Gavin's still going for my book. Yeah, he's kind of creeping you out, and you're like, um, seriously considering by the end of this watch, sleeping with that book, like, under your pillow... Oh yeah, I'm definitely, like, hiding that book every chance I get. Tied to your wrist, like, yeah. Um, and then you are extremely relieved when Peck and Jornok relieve you from the agony of Gavin's unblinking stare. <laughs> so Peck and Jornok, um, walk up and relieve you of your duties. All right. Hey. Gavin. Gavin. Falconer, you look like hell. Yeah, I do. Oh, get some rest. I, I don't trust Gavin right now. That's a smart move. Oh, so, is that a bush? And I point to, like, a <laughs> random shrubbery. <laughs> That's a fucking rock! <laughs> get that some explains, sleep! That, that explains a lot. <laughs> to bed. Okay. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. Clutching the, clutching the book tightly in my tent. <laughs> I'm going to turn it back to Jordan. I'd be like, good fucking thing. Nothing came last few hours. Right. All right, let's get this done. Yes, of course. Right. Um, so, no further ado, perception checks. 17. 17. 18. 18. Hey, the good watch. <laughs> yeah. Um... Hey, I rolled a 20. I just didn't know what a bush was. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a 20 to look around. Like I said, I rolled a 20, but I just don't know what a bush is. <laughs> <laughs> um. Alright, so you are sitting in the camp, um, and the sky slowly starts to dawn from dark to a grayish tinge, and the stars kind of start to wink out. The moon has made its way across the sky to the other side. And you start to be able to make out the um, specific shapes and shadows of the plants around you. Um, go ahead and make nature chicks. Ooh. I don't get out much. Good, because I rolled a two. <laughs> oh boy. That's so easy, is it? Better. Is that a 13 or an 18? That is a 13. All right, 13 plus one. So 14. Um, you're looking around, and you notice that there is a stand of... of what appeared in the dark to be rushes um, a few feet away from you. And you recognize this plant, or a plant like it, from your homeland. It is a plant called black corn. It kind of resembles real corn, but it's super duper small. And you are happy to see this because this plant normally grows at the edges of swamps. Um, so it means that you're almost to the edge of this particular direction of the dead marshes. Um, you do know that it is also edible. 
So you could collect the kernels and eat them raw. You could also keep them and ferment them into alcohol. Oh man, metagame is so suspicious of that too. <laughs> I will I will point it out to um, Peck and be like, this means we are close. And I will go gather some. What? Um. What 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 means we are close? You just pointed that, Marshall. Where are you going? I'll, I'll collect some of it and bring it back, and I'll show him. This grows at edge of swamp. It looks like rat poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Is it, is it good? And I'll take okay. one and I'll fucking eat it. Um. What? So luckily for you, birds don't have a heightened sense of taste. But you can still sort of taste. It's very bitter. Um, it almost kind of makes your tongue feel dry. Why did you feed me poop? You <laughs> ate it. <laughs> you said they were good. I said they were edible. Did I? <laughs> I don't remember what I said. <laughs> I thought you said they were good. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Put that way. Wash your hand. Pretty sure he said edible, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I think it was edible. You've got nothing um, else to eat this conserve. You will not have, die have, this. I will stick to my shitty heart attack. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, Jornak has partly shucked the ear to reveal the kernels. And you can see little kernels of violet and coal. They kind of glimmer gently in the morning. They're very pretty looking, but you are not fooled by their appearance. You are not eating with your eyes in this moment. And you can add a pound of black corn ears to your inventory, Jornok, if you would like to. Or you can throw them all away. I was going to say that right now, Faulkner's going to think that's poop as well. Yeah. Well, even though it's inside the, the husk? <laughs> yeah, because nature check, minus one. <laughs> um, no, it's deadly poop. <laughs> Nothing that color is edible. <laughs> All right. And. Oh, why did I do that to my thingy? Why did I do that to me? As you are packing these away, uh, Jornok, uh, your fellows begin to rouse themselves. And the morning has come. Good morning, guys. Do not eat. Jornok has poop for people. Do not eat it. It's poop is corn. It's, it's, that sounds like poop to me. It's gross. Who's eating shit? I, I yeah, hold up the, the unshucked corn. It's corn. No, I, I agree with Peck. That kind of looks like shit. It tastes like shit. It's corn. It you try like shit, And it tastes like shit. I'm pretty sure it's shit. All right. Uh, the If we're all awake, the alarm spill should be done by now. And uh, right. I guess everyone can mark the long rest if uh, that hasn't been cold yes. already. Yep. Doing it doesn't do anything for me because I was in tip top condition. I got one spell well, slot back. <laughs> Woo! Wee Great. Um, you and now you can feel like a breeze coming to you from the east and a breeze coming to you from the west, which they both the one from the west smells of, of salt and brine faintly, it's traveled quite a distance. The one from the east smells of fresh water. Um, so whoever would like to can take the lead. <clears throat> Jordak was lead yesterday. I will go. <clears throat> I'll take the lead. Tiny Peck skips up to the front. I will go second. Third. I guess it'll be Faulkner, then Gavin. <laughs> Or knock takes the rear. Well, Faulkner's going to read while they're walking this time. Because he didn't get to read last night. The convoy is the rear. Yeah. Um, right. Let me just... um, so, Peck, go ahead and make a survival check to see if you can find the river. Because you are not familiar with this area. And you have not led before. 11? Um, right. <laughs> You take a couple of wrong turns, and um, your friends behind you. 
Can I uh, help him? Sure. You can throw it roll. Gary, do you want to do your own roll? Uh, let's have Beskar roll now. So okay, survival. and what was the roll? Survival? Yes. Okay. All right, it's better, but not great. It's a uh, 14. Um, you managed to um, take Peck by the shoulder as he's about to turn uh, northwest, kind of back the way that you don't want to go. Um, and you steer him back. I kind of do it subtly so it still looks like he's doing it. So I just kind of like nudge him. It's that way. Yeah, oh, ahead. sorry, it's, it's disorienting. <laughs> don't embarrass him in front of his friends. <laughs> exactly, I, I'm, not, I'm trying not to embarrass him. <laughs> uh, Alright. So you walk along, and as soon as I find the appropriate image, I will switch the map. Um, but, as the day dawns, it's, um, it's, it's, it's sunny out. It's nice and, it's not like hot, but it, uh, it's pleasantly warm, and Alatar specifically finds this very inviting. It um, dries his clothes a little bit, somewhat. Um, well, I can't find it. So we're just... Shakes and gets floofy like birds do. Oh, yes, and you throw water droplets everywhere, and they kind of yep. off of Baskar's breastplate. I, I try to block it with the book I'm reading. <laughs> <laughs> Use that's creepy looking. Here, we'll use this. That'll work. Oh, well, it's not because I just saw one to that. I don't like it. I, all I heard was that's creepy looking. Let's use that. And I'm just like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I spaced out for a second. Fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not missing anything. <clears throat> Whoa, don't worry about it. Yeah, all good. I'm only a little bit worried about it, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> Um, Just go to your hat. Let's see. Okay? I'm now going to copy paste you guys, so bear with me just a minute. Copy paste. Copy paste. Hello, who here like video game? <laughs> <laughs> Video hello, game. Fellow, hello, fellow young kids. A single video game. <laughs> <clears throat> video game, good. <laughs> uh, and then I'll turn you two. Yeah, you're going the right direction. I'm almost done. While, while uh, Amanda's setting up, Brian, you want to tell him about the other night when I messaged you? What? Uh -huh. <laughs> there was another night. Tell us about the other night. The other uh, night I, I messaged you while you were playing Resident Evil. Oh, God. <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, so who's played Resident Evil The Village? <laughs> I've seen people playing it, so it's about the extent of it. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know if I, how, if I should spoil things for people who haven't played it then. I probably will. Just give them a sense of it. Alright, so there's a part in the story where you lose all your weapons and you're followed around by this giant flesh monster. Basically. Oh, the fetus? Yes, the fetus. <laughs> so, I'm hiding in the closet from the fetus, and the fetus is in the room with me, making all these creepy-ass sounds, and all of a sudden ba -ding! <laughs> There's a message from from Apple. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> nice. I didn't even know where he was. I picked the best worst time to ping him. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> like, but Uncle fucking found me. <laughs> no, no, that one's not okay. <laughs> Rip. I will say I know where the song is from. I don't I because I can't hear it. <laughs> yes. I don't no, generally no. like. Spamming anime music, but in this case, it's anime. Well, I mean, really good up. picture. Hold up, that's not anime. <laughs> well, technically, it's a New York style. I don't know. It's not. It's anime. -ish. I don't know. Whatever. It's a cartoon. It's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> um, you begin towards midday. It's about lunchtime to hear. The running of water ahead of you. Um, 
not quite as um this is a waterfall on the soundtrack but it's like the gentle flowing of a stream you can hear it lapping and eddying against the shore and you can hear um the breeze kind of stirring up the rushes on the banks kind of a sound and you are approaching your goal that tributary that first major landmark and all you have to do is cross it, and you will be out of the dead marshes. How big is it? Is that to scale down there? No, is it like it 15 is... feet across? Uh, no. It <laughs> can't do that right, since it's day. <clears throat> I guess I can give you global illumination. Fine! Please, so I don't just have a small flashlight around one person. <laughs> there we go. Yay, Matt. <laughs> Um, what was I just talking about? We need to cross the tributary, but we don't know how far it is. Uh, the tributary, it's, you know, it is wide enough across that you would want a kayak. I don't know, it's kind of like the St. Croix River. It's not super wide, but it is, like... So this isn't the scale? It, no, basically that's not the scale. Okay. And I haven't decided how wide it is. We'll decide if you decide to fight something, how wide it is. I'll let you know. I'll probably so just take a... If you decide to fight something, I'll probably just draw a little line. Um, and I'll tell you the real boundaries of the river. But for now... This, the, all you need to know is that there's here's the bank of the river. What the fuck is that picture? I know I don't see it yet, but I'm like, what the fuck is that picture? Yeah, don't, you don't see that. Why leave... Don't turn on daylight mode because you just uh, look at <laughs> You're just looking I, at I, 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 no. in the nighttime mode, thanks to Gavin's character, but was, uh, I didn't yeah. want to say nothing. I'm not just really confused. confused. Um, there's nothing there. Guys, there's, there's nothing, nothing there. there. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So basically, it's lunchtime, and Peck, you detect the sounds of water. Detecting water. water, I will foolishly sprint towards it to check it out. <laughs> So you run ahead, and you see, before you, a broad, flowing river. Um, and just across the other side, you can see more swamp land, but um, it, 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 looks, it's, it looks okay, because today is bright and sunny, and the light is sparkling off the grasses, and it looks like an okay place to be. And as you are standing at the edge of the water, you see... Um, little ripples and a, a fin. While he was uh, running, I was, I'd was i probably be shouting up to him, don't get too far ahead. Wait, the bartender is here. Oh, uh, what? It worked. <laughs> and what's this fin thing doing? Uh, it is circling in the water for the moment. Um, Gauze theme. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's something in the water up here. You mean fish? As he says that, I'm gonna mm -hmm. run right oh. up behind him. Be a weird looking fish. I was like lunch to Jarnock. <laughs> Is that everything lunch to Jarnock? <laughs> I mean, you're not entirely wrong. <laughs> as, as you approach the bank of the river, um, a humanoid figure rises up out of it, um, covered in scales, olive colored, dark, dark. Green, brown, like a like a pale green, and then scales are sorry fins that are bright scarlet red behind the ears, uh, up the bridge of the nose, along the forearms, webbing the fingers. Um, and it stands up and it kind of snarls at you. You can see yellow teeth and like long fangs. It's kind of close to you. Uh, does anyone speak French? <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I caught that one. <laughs> I speak common, elvish, and orc. I don't think that constitutes. Close enough. Give it a shot. Uh, hello, Mr. Fish. Um, we would like to cross river? Absolutely. It kind of... Um swims towards the edge and it just kind of bursts out of the bank and it charges forward. Oh, next to that. Um, you can see it's about it's taller than Peck. It's about the same height as Alatar. What languages does anyone speak? Orm, common, dark, dwarvish. 
Okay. I'm in Draconic Infernal. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cast Comprehend Languages. <laughs> All right. I'm an Elvish um, Orc. Don't think it. I can... Is right. the button broken? Between Oops. the between the two of us, we know common Elvish and deep speech. Yeah, I wonder who knows deep speech. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Faulkner. Is it Faulkner? <laughs> yes, the clerk. <laughs> All right, so you cast comprehend languages at Altar. That. Um, the creature rushes towards, towards you. you. Stop! Who are you? This is mine! And it rushes up to Peck, um, kind of giving Beskar a sidelong look. Peck will just sort of, like, neck crane way back with the spear just sort of, like, at the ready, like, like should they hit it? No, 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 no. You, you don't hit you it. can just cross my river without paying the toll! Okay, I won't hit it. Tell me when to hit it. No, no, no. Oh, we're gonna pay the uh, troll toll. Well, we can... You don't know that yet. <laughs> How do... We'd be willing to pay your toll. How much is your toll? gold pieces. Uh, I missed that. What was that? Not five not gold pieces. Game. Per head oh. or per? Or is it just for the whole group? You can pay per head if you want to. I, I, you don't I understand it, Baskar. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand it. I'm just asking from my perspective, so, not Baskar's perspective. <laughs> Well, I, so I'm just going to give it five gold pieces and be like, all right, does that work? Like, Why are you Drop. giving the spitty fish money? <laughs> Shut up. Okay. He kind of, yeah, kind of makes a snarling, like, like, snapping little laugh at you, snatches the gold out of your hand. You can feel his scales are damp, but they're coarse. Um, like, fish scales rub the wrong way as they brush across your skin. A wise choice traveler. He just kind of backs up um, into the stream and just sort of sinks down into the water. Did you just bribe a fish? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Walker looks up from his book. What, what did I miss? What happened? <laughs> Good work. I'm not that impulsive, Peck. What do you think of I, me? I really didn't want to hit it. Fish are kind of slimy and gross. Uh, yeah. No, I, 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 I don't well, know. Was, I don't want to think about that again. That was well handled. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is there any obvious point that we can use to cross, or is it going to be like a uh, we're boned? It, uh, at this particular point, there is no obvious ford to cross the river, but if you would like to make um, a perception and or investigation check to find something that could be of use, you are welcome to do that. Uh, I'm going to use investigation to see if we could chop down any nearby trees. Are there nearby trees? I see them here. There are trees, here. yes. The, this area, the, the river bank is very wooded, and these trees look like they're flourishing. I will so make I a, a 17. perception Can we use check if that's okay. Okay. I got 17 on investigation. Does it look like the trees are tall enough that we where we could cut a few down and make a bridge? Um, it would take several trees, um, and it's not the length that concerns you, but the more you look about, look at it, it's the support in the middle. It's a preset. Yeah, it would require some engineering voodoo. Perception um, check was a 20 total. 20 total. All right. Um, Alatar, as you're standing there contemplating the trees, is there anything else that you would like to do? Would you like to start chopping down trees, or what would you like? Hey, Jornok. No. I need a couple of trees cut down. And by a couple, I mean I... like a lot. Bring out the X, I start chopping. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to watch. All right, so you just wail on the nearest tree. Eskar, you uh, see this start to happen, and you kind of look out across the water, prepare to wait. And you notice... Um, a little further to the north, kind of in the direction that you would want to be trending anyway, uh, a craft, like a, a boat, seems to be floating in the middle of the river. It I... does appear to be... It doesn't appear to what? It does appear to be man. Like, there's people in it. I tap uh, Altar on the shoulder and point to the 
craft. Oh. Hey, Drornock. Ah. Don't need the trees anymore. But I've already started. <laughs> he sounds disappointed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about he keeps chopping and we go talk? <laughs> <laughs> Drornock, we right. can I'm gonna... Oh, he's gonna have a backup plan, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna warg into Philig and go across to see if I can get their attention. Alright. Um, how, 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 how are, are you, you doing that? With Philig or with yourself? yourself? Well, with Philig. Okay. Um, and what are you precisely controlling Philig to do? Or wanting him to do? Get close, flap his wings a lot to get their attention, and then fly back to us. Okay. Um, it is further than you can, um, what's the range on it? There's like something at 30 feet and then there's something at 100 feet, right? Uh, something about viewing through the eyes, I believe, is one of those. Yes. I just don't remember what the... I think I can still called. tell it to just do it. Yeah, but yeah. can you see through him if he's more than 30 feet away from you? Uh, give me two well, seconds. Well, I'd imagine 100... he's just giving the command. Yeah, so... Oh, no, wait, that's... It's 100 feet to communicate with me telepathically. Oh, okay. And that's covered. I'm going to... It's going to take me a while to dig through all this, so... I Likely, I won't be able to work into him out to 100 feet. Okay. Well, you can still communicate. They're not that far away. They're just... I mean, they were close enough that Baskar was able to tell that there were more than one person in the canoe. Um, yeah, they're just not within shouting distance, necessarily. Um, I'll say, sure, for the purposes of this, you can um, communicate with Billy. So he flaps down, um, circles the boat a couple times. It's a canoe. Um, a large canoe. It's heavily laden with supplies. And it looks like it's been on the water for quite some time. It shows a lot of wear and tear. Um, it, the hull is slick with algae, and as it bobs in the waves, you can see um, uh, freshwater barnacles clinging to the hull. Um, inside the canoe, you see uh, the most interesting feature, uh, three dwarves rowing the canoe. And you find this interesting because you know that dwarves generally uh, the, any type of dwarf would not be found in this uh, wet region. And uh, they're not currently paddling actively. They are looking around and discussing among themselves um, what, where to go or what to do. Or The discussion is low and intense. Cool. Um... I guess I'm just going to have Philly start flapping his wings and screeching to see if he can get their attention. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, after a while, a couple minutes, one of them looks up, kind of frowns, uh, and then points Philly out to his other companions. Cool. I'm going to have Philly do a couple circles and then fly back towards us. Three figures in the canoe. You're going to have Philly. <laughs> Sorry. Do what? I'm going to have him do a couple circles and then start flying back towards us. Okay. So he a couple loops around the canoe and then he comes back towards you, lands on your shoulder. Um, the canoe, you can see after a minute or two of um, discussion, perhaps, uh, turns towards you and starts making its way. And I tell Alatar, mm -hmm. we should probably warn them about the merman. Or whatever it was. <laughs> uh, let's play it by ear. He he might be okay. Where did the merman go? Do we know where he went? No, he just he just kind of like, like Aquaman, just kind of slowly. Okay, burbled under the water. Yeah, super creepy but weird. And if we if we see him pop back up, we can always pay him. Otherwise, maybe our fee will cover them. Just tell right. them, just tell it he, they're with us. That might work. Yeah. All right. All right. Over here, just whacking away. I have no idea what's going on. 
<laughs> just enjoying a good hey, treat. Faulkner's yeah. just reading his book and keeping Gavin at arm's length as he tries Keep to it up, take Keep it up, Jornok. You're doing great. It's coming yeah. down. Heads up. <laughs> so, uh, Faulkner, because you've been trying to read and walk, you can't get the time for the full hour's travel. I mean, uh, as long as I can get something in for this. I'll give you a couple hours. I'll give you two hours. Yeah, I'm falling behind on reading this book, so I gotta get it in when I can now. <laughs> um, if we take the boat all the way back to the city... I don't know if the boat's big enough for that. You're also assuming that they will want to do that for us. Yeah, that's... Let's just talk to them first. Yeah. We'll have to take it, take it in stride. All Worst right. case, Jornok back there can make us a raft. Yeah. Um, as you are saying that, the the canoe approaches, and the dwarf in front stands up in his seat. Hello, the shore. Hello. I don't know what that means, but hello. You with the bird? Are you the one that we saw circling our canoe? That'd be me. I was wondering if we want? could charter passage across the river on your boat. Well, where do you want to charter passage to? Across the river. Oh, that's the name of the city with the ferry. Amelin, right? I Would thought you that's where they came from. Back to Amelin, I thought? Where's Amelin? Oh, are you from around here? No, we're from Yergard. Oh. In Zedriel? Um, and those of you who are familiar with the geography of Pandarvis, that's a long ways away um, to come by canoe. <laughs> if they indeed paddled the entire way, that's a long trip. Does it sound like they're like having trouble with the language? Uh, they have a very thick accent. You can definitely tell that the common is not their first language. But they... Switch to Dwarvish. Okay. Is, uh, is, um, are you here for trade? Oh, you speak the, uh, the language of the Stone Brothers. My father was dwarf, yes. Hmm. Well, you are a beard fellow of a sort. Uh, no, we are not here to trade. We are on the way to, um, we are on our way to visit a cousin in the foothills of the Hetel Rasha. Um, but, uh, he kind of looks around. I don't think this is it. What is it? Do I know where they hit the hit Also, I will convey all of this back to the rest of the party as they're saying it. All right. Okay. And languages is still up, so I'm, I can try. Yeah. But, but do we, do, do we, does anyone here know where that is? At this point, I just kind of saunter up because I finally hear the voices. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, yeah, everyone except Jornok knows where they are. It's like knowing where the Andes are. They are on the border of a desert. The principalities of Zirnar, like a desert area. So way the they're way. very lost. Um, I want to be like, oh, um, sorry, but you're very far off target. Yes, we figured that as we looked around and saw all the marshlands. Well, if you go to Amelin, they have maps that would help you and guides. <laughs> if they kind of. Do you, do you say that? Oh, you pro I probably don't understand what you say then. So never mind. They look at each other. Do they have ships? How far do we have to row back? Um, <laughs> it's not that bad by boat. I do not think. Uh, what would that be like? A hundred miles. To that's a lot to handle, isn't it? That's a little... Here, let's pull up the let's map. Let's look at the map. Let's let's that would be miles. hopefully right that's now. Like where, where is Amelon? I'm having trouble reading this map. I can't zoom in anymore. <laughs> I'll zoom in. I'm going to zoom in by looking at a man's screen. All right. So, All right. I suppose I should okay. probably... Motherfuck. You are about here-ish. Yeah, Amelon's where we came from. Amelon's here. So yeah, that's yeah. About so a, we don't uh, we want to hit like Pirth or something. Like better. This, this is fifty miles. Uh, one square is about fifty. Miles. So it's about one hundred and fifty miles on the boat. Yep. Yes. They're fucked. Yep. 
Or well, they could go another well, 50 to get to Pierce. Wait, I think I finally see Emlyn. Is it like the top left corner of the map? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Way over okay. there. Um, so the desert that mission. they are trying to get to. Oh, oh no. <laughs> How did they do that? Um, <laughs> so based on your understanding, um, your guard is here. Oh. They follow the river this way. And then somewhere in here, they probably got lost. They're actually on the right path. They just took one wrong turn. Except that they want to get way over here. Yeah, so like they just need to get back. <laughs> so yeah, we, Parrot. Yeah. Parrot's still the best option for all so parties involved. Like this, and they want up here. They just need to go back the way they came, and they get out to here. Well, yeah. <laughs> either did that, <laughs> or got lost. In this delta here. Yep. Because they're not yeah. seafaring folk, these forms. <laughs> Clearly. Um, yeah, but if we, we go to Paradise, that's only like 50 miles, and well, then they can get their map. Bigger question do we know exactly where we are? All we know is there's a river in front of us, as far as I yeah, know. Do we know this region? Oh, you know the region? Not enough to. <sighs> I would say we know Parath is a certain direction from... Yeah. yeah. You don't know exactly how far from your current position, but you do know in which direction generally to trend. And we know that it would be probably closer because of how far we've gone. Far closer than in the city. Um, you know that it's some kind of town because it's at a crossroads. Um, it's on one of the only roads in the southern part of the realm of Olenim. You know that it's on a ferry route, so it's well-traveled. You can also get a ride to pretty much anywhere in Olenim that's on the river. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, for someone in your position, it's a pretty good bet. It's a good, good goal. If we can't get them to go back to you know, Olenim itself. I would just my, say, oh. my good fellows, I think I have an idea of where you are. There's a city on your way by the name of Par or Perth. Uh, it'll take you along the river to where you need to go, and well, that's where we need to go. Could we perhaps ride with you and maybe help paddle? Um, Is it even big enough of, for uh, all of us? They kind of look at each other. The canoe is pretty heavily laden. They, and it contains three stout dwarves. So there's not room for many of you. There'd be room for maybe one, maybe two, depending on who went in the canoe. Um, but after a minute of conversation in Borbish, they turn to you. Well, uh, we could take a couple of you as passengers in our um, canoe, or you could make a raft. We could pitch a camp here for the day, and you could make a raft out of the trees around this river, and we could all travel together, and you could show us where we go, and, you know, perhaps your raft can make it that far. I think Dorna likes that solution the most, probably. I've already got one town. Would you mind the camping? Oh, we've done nothing but camp for... Gosh, weeks and weeks. This is... We did not <laughs> realize exactly what sort of uh, venture we were starting on uh, out on when we left, and by the time we discovered exactly in how deep we were, we were far past any point where civilization could help us. And there were no stone brothers around to take us in, so we were sort of trapped in our way. Uh, we would certainly welcome guides on the river. All right. Well, has this Let's... conversation been going on in Dwarvish the whole time? Uh, this second part of it has been in common. Okay, because if that's the case, then I kind of want to see. I want to make an insight check, telling if they are gen genuinely lost or if they're fibbing anything. Sure. All right. Bad roll. Let's go. Hey. Okay, it's not the worst, but I don't think I'll be able to pick anything up. Uh, what was it? Insight? Uh, that's a 14. Um, 
You are. They seem earnest enough. Okay. You have a really hard time believing how exactly someone could get this lost, or why anyone would think it's a good idea to paddle a canoe to a desert. But um, they seem pretty truthful, other than the fact that they planned extremely poorly. Okay. Uh, they could I'll just be idiots. For now. They could just be idiots. Yeah. yeah. I'll take it as is for now. Okay, so. I think we are good to do the camp option. Um, we, we have Jornax already working on the trees. Would you like a rope to be pulled in? Uh, that would be very helpful, yes. We would. We're still. We do. We, we can beach the canoe, but uh, it's not our favorite activity. Actually, canoeing at all, we will probably never look at the canoe again once we are at our. Destination. We will probably take a ferry back home. <laughs> Whatever the cost. Echo throw out his rope to them when they get close enough. It's not the Ick rope, is it? No, no <laughs> we lost the Ick rope. Okay, I good. forgot about that. The Ick rope is tied up in the house. <laughs> My clean blankets too, which was unfortunate. And then That's true. Tiny squirrel the legs will just start scrambling against yeah. the dirt. He'll kind of look helplessly at someone who's stronger. I bet oh, Alatar was a really hoping, really wishing we had still had those last night. I will help him <laughs> like with the rope. Same. All right, so they drift the canoe closer, and Peck throws the rope out to them. The guy in the front catches it, and between their paddling and Vascar and X towing, they manage, they manage to bring the canoe ashore fairly easily. They offload their supplies. Um, they <laughs> as they um take out their rations, you realize that they are, not only are they not great navigators, they're also not super good hunters. Um, they have um, some very sad looking rabbits that they've dried. And like, um, they have like really grainy looking pemmican. They have um, some very mealy looking rations. Like hard tack, you get the feeling that they ran out of their original rations because they severely underestimated the length of the journey and have just been kind of like trying to supplement from nature as they go. And as they actually step out of the canoe, you can see their arm muscles are very developed, but their bodies in general are thin, and though they are not getting the amount of food that they're used to getting. They look like they've been traveling in. in not great circumstances for quite some time. They're sort of grizzled. Their clothes are tattered. There's like permanent sweat stains under their arms and on their backs between their shoulder blades. And sort of get down and they start unpacking all of their gear. Oh, thank God we found you. Uh, we were starting to lose hope. We thought we'd never find it. Obviously, we took a wrong journey somewhere, but where? I, I cannot. What are you... Going out here anyway. What do we need to go to Elf Desert for? Uh, well, we have some cousins there, and uh, we were hoping to make it in time for their their um, child's naming. But uh, they kind of glance up at the sky and they look around. We may have missed it. Oh, um, your food is sad. I will try to make um stew from it if that's all right. I'm somewhat adept at cooking. Well, if you think you could make it any better than it already is, and he kind of tosses you the little withered carcasses of the dried rabbits and the pemmican. Be my guest. You can't make it any worse, and we can always fish, right? I'll gather that. And I have I'm a... willing to contribute, I can start and make a good old stew. I hand you my mess kit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have my own mess kit, but thank you. Two mess kits. I'm equipped, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to, excuse me while I stir the soup with my spoon with a worm on it. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, real real that. quick question. Sure. Real quick Gary question. Mentioned spoon. <laughs> I have in yeah. my bags gold flakes. A pinch of golden flakes in a small glass vial. Anyone who consumes food sprinkled with these golden flakes will become convinced that they eat eaten the best meal of their lives no matter what they have eaten. Fuck you will yeah. feel the urge to compliment the chef. 
I mean, are you Mark using? Oh, uh, <laughs> do, do we want to see what happens here? <laughs> do it. What are you saying? Because I'm curious what you're saying right now. Are you are saying, saying Peck can't cook? cook? Yeah, because Peck's gonna take some fucking offense to that in about three seconds. He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have to know what the effects are. I'm just curious what Ab ba- what Baskar is saying. <laughs> Hey, Vascar could just tuck that shit in there without telling anybody. And if he does, then I, 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 would I, I wouldn't well. do that. I wouldn't sneakily do that. I would. God damn it! <laughs> I'm just asking. That's in my bags. I don't. I mean, you said I gathered that. I don't know if Vascar knows what it does. That's trying. That's kind of where I'm trying to get at. Oh. Uh, it has not been identified. You, the player, know what it does. But Baskar does not. Know okay, what it does. That, that's that's what I wanted to figure out. Okay, you're a person who just picked up MS, MSG. What the fuck does it Pretty do? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, in that case, uh, what I'll probably will do is I will share the never drunk wine with them. Ooh. Oh, that uh, would be really good for the base too. Can I borrow some? <laughs> Oh, you're gonna give it back? I shout between X swings. <laughs> I want your phone. You're gonna give it back. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I let him use it as the base, and then I hand it over to the dwarves and let them do with it what they please. So are you flumbing or deglazing or? I'm doing some fancy shit, yeah, because I grew up in a tavern cooking. Yeah, yeah. All right, sure. Fancy tavern food. Um, we have. Hey, I'm throwing like a ration pack. And actually, pemmican is super good when used in soups. I've learned. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that it's really good in soups. All right. Well. What is? Um. Pemmican. Oh. <laughs> and as the as you pull out your bottle of never drunk wine, uh, Vascar, one of the dwarfs. Oh, by the gods! Something to drink. It's been a while since we've had anything but water. Giving the dwarves NA wine. <laughs> Would you mind sharing while we wait for this delightful meal to be cooked by your, your kind of look at back bird friend? Your bird? Of course. <laughs> your bird. Let him. Uh, Where is your board? <laughs> we're going to let Peck uh, use some of it as the base, and then I will gladly share. Uh, great. And as uh. <laughs> As they do that, they sidle up to, um, um, Vascar, the one with the booze. <laughs> um, so, this bird, is he, like, your servant, or it's odd that he can speak dwarvish? Where did you find him? Some sort of exotic collection. See a curio item, if you just haul around. Who is this directed at? Vascar. Yeah, okay. Uh, what, what was the name of the town that we all met in again? Amelin. Okay. Uh, well, our band all met in Amelin. And, um... Well, as far as I know, he was a resident in there. I, myself, was not. But, uh, he has been, uh, our compatriot in arms uh, ever since we left. I kind of look at Peck again. Is he any good in the fight? Seems kind of wayfish. And I struggle. I told you. I was told you. I was... <laughs> You're like bracing yourself, just ah. Like my foot's bracing ah. against the thing, just trying to stir it. <laughs> Peck, Peck is getting ready to, f- to throw down. <laughs> Have we told you about buttholing a dog? <laughs> <laughs> well, Peck doesn't well, hear a word about it. Today. No, no, it's yeah, very yeah. gross. To be it's frank good. with you, I would not want to tank with him myself. And I especially would not want to find him behind me. <laughs> they kind of look at each other, at you, and back at Peck. All right, then. We'll uh, stare clear of his barrier. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Um, he is it, trustworthy, um, though, but just try not to get on his bad side, bad side is all. Oh, don't worry. 
It was never our intention, and certainly not after what you've told us about him. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of went to the end. So, I think they saw you having passing around. All right, I assume he's done with the wine. I will go ahead and I will pass it on over to them because they seem like they need it more than us. And I think uh, Baskar would know it's wine, but not necessarily that it's never drunk wine. Correct. Correct. Um, because you haven't taken the time so far, you haven't really had the time to identify the various items that you found in the kitchen. Okay. So you're just kind of giving a random wine from a kitchen that's who knows how old to uh, some strangers. You're like, eh, they're dwarves, they'll be fine. fine. It's aged. Yeah. <laughs> it's aged. It's finely aged wine. Yes. Um, they take a, uh, one of them takes a swig. Wow, this is some very strong wine. <laughs> he passes it on. Where did you get this? <laughs> you don't want to know. Great secret. <laughs> wait, 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 uh, I, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to think of something here. <laughs> Give me a second. We found it in the swamps. <laughs> in a no, no, house. no, I just... <laughs> After we found a giant skeleton, man, don't worry about <laughs> I, oh, it's very good. I came, came across it in an antique kitchen one day. Thought it'd be nice to take it. Well, <laughs> they take another drink. It's very antique wine, so it must have fit right in. It's been sitting so long, the never drunk wine is no longer never drunk. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's just vinegar. <laughs> oh. They kind of, the, the last dwarf to take a, a sip kind of. It sits dry on your tongue, don't it? Here, try it. And he passed it back to Baskar. And you had a taste yet. I actually have not. This is the first time I've cracked it open. And I will taste a little bit of it. Alright. The first thing that you notice as you tip it to your lips is the overpowering smell of alcohol. This is extremely... Maybe it did start off that way, but now it's very strong wine. Um... And you can tell without even seeing inside the bottle that it's extremely red. And as it kind of touches your lips and glides across your tongue, there's immediately this like dry, crackling, almost papery feel that coats your tongue. You're like, yes, this is extremely dry wine. And then as it fades, you get the very faint, sweet, lovely aftertaste of plum. Oh. And it warms all the way down. You kind of cough a little bit as it passes um, down your throat. Because it is it's very strong. Hmm. It's strangely then. Really... It's like eating spicy food. You just kind of, it's pain, but you want more. <laughs> um, do you, though? <laughs> uh, yes. Not <Duh>, badly. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly a different uh, fragrance than what uh, the wines I normally partake, but this is uh, a very interesting brand. And, uh, I, will, I will ask if anybody else would like some. Uh, Alkner's just still reading his book. <laughs> Except Gavin. Gavin cannot have it. I want that and, wine. <laughs> oh, God. Gavin's under he just wants to read the label. <laughs> yeah, all right. Peel the label off and hand it to him. I needed secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the secrets. You know, I didn't want it, but now I do want it. Because you told me I can't have it. So gimme. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's, that's very Yeah, that is. Yep. Um... So I'll say that over the course of next hour or so, um, while Peck is softening the ingredients of this due to an edible... Getting texture. nice and tender, yeah. I would say. Sure, yeah. He's low and slow over the fire. Um, Jornok manages to cut enough trees to make a, a decent-sized raft. Um, it's not going to be anything beautiful or fancy, but it will keep you pretty dry, you're fairly certain, um, as you journey down the river. 
And as Peck makes a... Do you have cooking utensils? Must cook. Must cook. Yep. Let's make a cooking check to see how good you do. Let's do... That one. Intelligence plus... Proficiency. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, man. <laughs> Had to be intel. Why well, didn't have to be intel? It's going to be wisdom. Wisdom, I don't really care. Okay, I'll take wisdom. God damn it, this is not a very good one. Six, seven, eight. So eight. Eight. <laughs> well, I mean, we weren't working with much to begin with, so that's yeah. not really yeah. your fault. Don't blame the A likely blame excuse. The <laughs> uh, and make a retroactive nature check as well. Me? Yes. Uh, five. Um... You pull what you're pretty sure are edible tubers. Uh, oh, no. The side of the... You're like, this needs something extra. Um, you look like what I buy at the market. Yep. So you're like, like these, I feel like you can eat this, and then I feel like you can eat these roots. So you pull a couple of random... And you that city chef was getting a little overhandled with, like, I'm the country, it'll be fine. Yeah. You, you, you chop them up, add them to the soup. You're about to add some, like, mushrooms that you found on the log, and you're like, Wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't push my luck. So you leave the mushrooms there, but you end up with um, a soup. It's functional. It won't kill you. It's Is food. it going to give it the shits? Well, I don't know. Oh, no. Um... <laughs> So we'll find out. <laughs> After I try a bite and I just look at the rest of the group, I am so sorry. This <laughs> doesn't <laughs> normally happen. Um, the dwarves are going to just shrug. I don't apologize. Uh, it's probably better than anything we've made on our trip here. Shall we? And they sort of just plop down, pull out a couple of tin plates from their pack, and... Good to be served. Has never looked so deflated. And I'll just keep passing right around the wine to wh whoever wants it, except for underage people. <laughs> Give me the wine. <laughs> he reaches for it at one point. He's gonna fucking snag it. Yep, he wants it now. <laughs> Jarnuk, yeah, Jarnuk does not take the wine. Can I slide of hand grab it? You can certainly try. Go ahead and make slide of hand check with disadvantage because everyone is in a giant circle. <laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> um. Sure. As Batscar is handing it off to Walker, you just kind of like um, relay, like baton pass. You just kind of like, this is mine. And you take it, take a drink. Um, <laughs> it's the worst thing you've ever tasted. Walker's <laughs> 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 hand is still like holding out, expecting wine to be in it, and it's just missing. <laughs> and upon reflection, as the flavor kind of sits moments on your tongue, you're like, maybe this is part of the reason why my soup is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I should have tasted this. <laughs> um, right, so... I just hand it back. Sadly, you just pass it on to Falconer. Is this all loot? Yep. Ugh. <laughs> I don't you know, Jarnak does it. not partake of that. You do not drink? He takes a swig. Jarnak does not drink. Why? I assume he's had some wine. <laughs> It dulls the senses. Darnak does not like that. So does uh, Ditch Grass, but Avatar doesn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... All right. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I'll tell you when you're older. Well, Peck is very well aware of what weed is. He's a teenager in a slum. Uh, Faulkner is being oblivious to the entire thing. Gavin's, I want that now. <laughs> <laughs> the weed? <laughs> he just what? Wants to, he wants the wine, bitch. He wants the, wa he wants oh, the wine yeah. first, but now that everyone's talking about something else, he wants that instead. Whatever he can't have, he instantly wants. Oh, hey, you're going to get some good reading in Faulkner. Hey, Gavin. Yeah, hey. yeah I'm getting some good reading in finally, because we're not going anywhere. 
Yeah, how many trees does uh, Jaro turn on? I don't know. However many it takes, takes to make a raft. Okay. Um, you have one raft of trees. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I probably, cut, I probably cut down like three trees and then like sectioned them off. Yeah. Um, Falcon, you can add another hour to your reading time. Yay. <laughs> That's seven hours, guys. Only 41 to go. Well, yeah. How much more time do you need for it? <laughs> uh, we're on day three. I have a seven-day period, so oh, not a boy. Oh, Dude. boy. <laughs> Just don't help with watches. Just read. Thank yeah, God. That's, that's that's pretty much what he's going to be doing from now on. We have a boat ride you can read on and yeah. get really sick on. Yeah. Um. All right. So everyone who ate the soup, I need con saves. Oh, come on! It's not that bad. <laughs> okay. I guess I probably would have ate the soup. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thirteen. That's not terrible. All right. Natural that's twenty. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's that hor that's that hardy orc blood. <laughs> yep. Yeah, awesome. right. What'd you get? Thirteen. Thirteen, Gavin. Uh, Gavin? Gavin's gonna get let's see, he's got plus one to it, so we'll roll the die for that. He got a seventeen. Nice. X. Thirteen. Oh, you're so sad. Why are you sad about 13? 13 seems like a decent roll. Soup that's gonna make everyone have the shits. <laughs> Jordan, what'd you get? Um, Jordanok might not have eaten the soup because the wine went in it. He might have pulled out a ration and ate that instead. Mm. All right, so I will scratch that. Let's roll for the dwarves. Oh, they they have really good con. <laughs> yeah, what is their racial con bonus? Plus two, I think. Plus two. Or plus two to the stats, so it's plus one for the the thing racially. So plus three altogether? No, sorry. Uh, racial bonus would be plus two to the attribute score, so they'd get a plus one modifier off of it. So plus one. Oh, yeah. All oh, right, that guy's a, that's a fail. Oh, no. <laughs> that's a success. Oh, no, I gave one of those shits hard. <laughs> oh, that's At a least you didn't roll a negative one on the gun save. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We will find out the effects of Peck Soup next time. Uh, <laughs> find out next time. Uh. I gotta keep you on a cliffhanger of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with this cliffhanger. I don't know if that's a good cliffhanger or not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's... Oh, yes. I think it's better than like a pivotal point in the story where you, oh god I gotta know how it ends and then it just they're teasing you by tickling you in the balls. Yeah, it's, bad. it's come back next time for dysentery. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first can blush. Huh. Yeah, if they had that ability. Oh. All right, I'm dying off the bed. bed. Yeah. Oh, I'm Brian. Oh, uh, bye bye. I just saw your message, and uh, whenever you have the browser open, just hit F11. Oh, some backseat technical. Oh, my guys. Oh, about this uh, rhythm. Uh, it no. still doesn't help me. <laughs> it still didn't want to work, apparently. All right, did we the make notes this time? Your web we did. Huh? All right. Yeah. What browser are you using? Yeah. Chrome. Oh, well, that should work. All right, I'm adding notes, All right, guys. Take care.